So now we're going to look at probably the most commonly used for loop pattern in Python. And that's just the for element in whatever list pattern. This is, if you're coming from another language, this is so nice. Uh, we, you know, you kind of have to jump through little hoops in other languages in order to get this kind of functionality. So for element in list, print the element, sure. Um, note, what we don't get in here though is we don't get an index. So there, we'll see in a later lesson that we can apply enumerate on that list and then we will get both the index and the element at that index. So let's go ahead and we'll just reuse this little bit of code and let's make a list and put in it a cat and a catfish and a cat tail and a dogfish and um, something that's catatonic. Um, catatonic catastrophe? I don't know. Whatever, whatever. Notice I've got cats on the brain. So for element in list, uh, let's print the element. Shouldn't be too surprising what we see here. Cat, catfish, cattail, dogfish, catatonic, catastrophe. Those are both printed on the same line for some reason that I am not, oh, because I'm, there we go. That's funny. Yep, catatonic catastrophe. Great. Now, that's perfect. And what you'll find is that a lot of the time you don't actually need the index in order to perform operations in a list. So Python has just sort of left it out here. And to demonstrate that, let's, uh, let's make an accumulator um, called sum of cats. And, yep, this should work. And we'll start it off at zero. And what we'll do, we'll just say if cat is in the element. And we can do this. This is kind of a great thing about strings. We can take some substring and we can ask, is it in this longer string? And if it is, then we'll just increment the sum of cats. And we can print that sum of cats at the end. And then barring any errors, we should see we should see a result. So there are five. And sure enough, one, two, three, four, five. Makes sense. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And yeah, so this is the common construct. You're going to see this a lot. If you need an index, uh, you can either use one of the prior patterns, prior two patterns, or you can utilize the enumerate function, which we'll see shortly.